Um, welcome to Tuesday's lesson. Um, firstly, thank you for sending your work in um, yesterday. Um, I know time is really difficult, uh, but you guys have been working so hard um, and it is difficult, but I promise you'll get a hang of it as we um, go through the rest of the week. Um, so let's start today's lesson. Let's minimize my picture. Bring it across here. Right, so today is Tuesday, the 5th of May 2020, um, and the NI today is to explore the 12 hour clock. Now, you remember yesterday I told you that you can have a 12 hour clock or a 24 hour clock, um, and now today we're going to look at how you would write a time if you're only using the 12 hour clock. Um, so, for today's lesson, you will need a pencil, a piece of paper, and a ruler. So, to start off with, um, we have a little chat about something to warm our brains. And today, um, the number talk is, this clock is showing 2.15. Is it a.m. or p.m.? And once you use, um, what thought, you know, once you think of the answer, you'll write down um, why you're saying it's a.m. or p.m. So pause the video and on your piece of paper, write down whether it's a.m. or p.m. Off you go. Right, um, now, I, even, now although it might be tempting to write AM or PM, the reality is that when we have an analog clock like this one over here, um, because it only has 12 hours on it, it's really difficult, actually impossible uh, to know whether this, is, this 2.15 is AM or PM, because there's no indication um, whether it, this is just after midnight or just afternoon. Um, so that should be your answer. If you got that right, well done. Um, let's move on. So as always, um, we go through our key vocabulary, and the key vocabulary today is morning, afternoon, noon, a.m., which we know means before midday, um, midnight, and p.m., which means after midday, after lunchtime, 12 noon. So today, we're going to be exploring how to tell a.m. and p.m. by using a 12-hour clock. Now, before we start the lesson, what I will say is this, that when you are trying to tell um, the time using a 12 hour clock, whenever you write the time down, you'll always write down either a.m. or p.m. after the actual time. So just as a general rule of thumb, just remember, when you're writing a time down, you must write down a.m. or p.m. Um, after the numbers to show whether it's in the morning um, or in the afternoon and evening. So firstly, what do a.m. and p.m. Start, stand for? If you think you know, or you want to have a go, pause the video um, and try to uh, write down your piece of paper what AM and PM stand for. Off you go. So here we go. Let me move out the way. Sorry. I move myself out of the way. So AM stands for anti meridian, and this means a time between midnight to 11.59 in the morning, and PM stands for post-meridian, which means any time from 12 noon to 11.59 at night time. So just bear that in mind, because that is why you write down AM or PM, so then someone who looks at that time will know whether you mean it's a time between midnight um, and 11.59, um, just for lunch, or it's from lunchtime, 12 noon, to 11.59 at night time. Okay, so on the 12 hour clock, what time would this be a.m. and what time would this be p.m.? You look at the clock over here and um, work out what the time is and then write down how you would write it down to make it a.m. and p.m. Just pause the video and write the two times down. So as we can see, um, the big hand is uh, at 10 minutes past and the small hand um, is just going past the 10. The time here is 10 colon 10. If it was morning, it'd be 10, 10 a.m. And if it was evening, it'd be the same time, 10, 10, but p.m. So this would tell me that 10, 10 a.m. would be um, in the morning, uh, before your normal break time at school. And 10, 10 p.m. means this is way into the night, um, a, a, an, hour, an hour or two before midnight. 
So you need to put an AM and PM to indicate at what time of day it is. So here I have three pictures. Um, and I'll move myself up here, I think, to make this easier. Here you have three pictures. I want you to just have a look at them. Look at the, the, the moon, um, look at what time of day you think it is, and jot down three times. What time of day do you think these images um, show? So this is midnight at Mount Fuji in Japan. Uh, this is twilight time of the day between daylight and darkness, whether that's after sunset or just before sunrise. And this is 9 p.m. Good. Now, here we have three clocks. And what I'm asking you is, is to what time of the day is shown by these clocks? So what time of the day is shown by these clocks? Right, so this one would be in the morning. Um, this one that says nine o'clock, it's hard, like it's very discussed, it's hard to, to know um, whether or not it's the morning um, or the afternoon because that is, that's the case of 12 hour clock. With this one here, this is midday. So this is midday. Right, let me move myself down here. Now, as you can see, you have uh, four analog clocks and you have four digital clocks. And at the bottom of the four analog clocks, it tells you at what time of day that time is. So what I want you to do, I want you to pause the video and just in order, try to match um, the digital, um, digital times to the actual clocks. Okay, off you go. Right, so this clock here, the time it's showing is, is 20 past nine. That's 9.20 at the daytime. So that would be nine, I can move it across, sorry. That would be 9.20. This one, I already know that it's, it's, in, the, it's in the evening, so this time's gonna be PM time and it's 10 past 11, so 11, 10 p.m. This clock again is in the evening, so it's likely to be a PM, it's PM time, and it's 10 past four, which is 4.10 p.m. And finally, this is in the daytime, in the morning, um, and it's, it's three, it's 25 minutes past three, so 3.25. So hopefully you got those right. If you did, good job. Right, so here's a question for you. Jack's best friend is coming to visit him for the weekend. He told he was told his trains are arriving at seven o'clock at Houston Station. Will Jack be meeting his friend in the morning or in the evening? Now, what do you think the answer to that question is? So again, with this, with this um, question, what I'm trying to show here is when you write down times, it has to be very precise. Because if I said to you, um, I'll be arriving at school at seven o'clock, very hard for you to know whether that be 7 a.m., i.e. seven in the morning or 7 p.m. Um, in the evening. Um, as just, just, this describes the problem you have with a, an analog clock, we have 12 hours. So if someone said, if so really, Jack's best friend um, should be telling him that his train is driving either at 7 p.m. or 7 a.m. It's very hard for us to um, work out whether that's in the morning or evening without him using a.m. or p.m. Right, so here we have uh, uh, someone eating their lunch at one o'clock. Now I want you to write down digitally, as in, a, in digital clock format, what time um, is this uh, boy having his lunch? Pause the video and off you go. So digitally, it's one, colon, zero, zero. And because it's um, afternoon, it's PM. So hopefully you got that right. If you did, well done. Let's do another example of that. Here we go. 
um, brushing my teeth in the morning. The, in the morning will give you a clue as to whether you're going to be putting down AM or PM. So how would you write this time on this clock digitally? Off you go. So it's going to be eight colon AM. Well done, so you got it right. I think we have one more example, do we? Yes, we do. So Millie is going to bed at eight, the same time as the slide before. Um, but how, what is missing from that time? What is missing from that time to let us know when in the daytime it is? Pause the video and add in whatever is missing. So what is missing is, hopefully you would have realized, is the PM. So we know that it's actually eight o'clock in the evening. Well done, you got that right. Right, so um, this picture over here of someone having their breakfast. What is the time on the clock here? So write down the write down the clock digitally. So the clock here, the time here is quarter past eight. Digitally, that clock, the time is eight, 15, and of course it's a.m. because we have a breakfast in the morning, not in the evening. Now, uh, what time is this? I watch TV when I get home from work. Um, is this AM or PM? And how would you write this, this time as, as digital? So write that down, pause the video, write down, this, write down the time on this clock as digital, off you go. And the time is 8, 20 PM. You mustn't forget that. Well done, for those of you who got that right. Now Danny is back. So Danny says um, that the mid that that twelve midnight is a pm is pm. Do you agree with Danny? Give reasons for your answer. So as always, you need to write down I disagree with Danny because, or I agree with Danny because. So pause the video um, and write down your answer. Off you go. Right. So the answer is is that when it's 12 midnight, the time is a.m., not p.m. So the time is 12 a.m. is the time, okay? Because 12 p.m., I can go right down, 12 p.m. refers to noon, so lunchtime. So Danny Dog is wrong, um, and that's how you explain why. Okay, so time has now come to complete your tasks. Um, as always, don't forget to take a picture of your work and send it to us at year3 at grange.harrow.sch.uk. Um, now, as always, um, with our math class in recent weeks, to access them, you have to go on the Grange website and click on to online learning uh, and then click on to year three um, and week, you'll see um, week three maths and your task for today will be um, entitled Maths Task uh, 0505 2020. I'm going to show you what your task is so we can go through it together. So once you click onto that tab, you'll come up with this. Um, task one is look at the clocks and write the time digitally to show whether it is in the morning or the afternoon. And what I will say to you is remember, um, you have to always add in AM and PM when you're writing the clock, uh, di digital clock in 12 hour format. Um, and here, um, task two is asking you to complete the table. So it says guided reading is at 10 o'clock in the morning. So on this on this clock, on the analog clock, you should draw in what 10 o'clock looks like. And on the digital clock, you need to write in um, what 10 o'clock looks like uh, in the morning. And then you've got two more examples. Task three, uh, we come and meet Martha, and Martha is saying, I'm telling the time on a digital clock, the larger, num the larger than the first number, the later in the day it is. Now, is Martha correct? And explain how you know. So you just write in your explanation, you know, Martha is correct because, or uh, Martha is incorrect because, and write down and explain um, the answer, and you guys are getting a lot better um, at, at 
using your, your reasoning language to explain what you mean, which is fantastic to see. Um, and your final task is the board shows the times of trains arriving and leaving the station. As you can see here, it says London, Edinburgh, Manchester, Leeds um, arrives and leaves. And you've got a set of times here. Uh, so it says Benji's watch shows the time he arrives at the station. Yeah. What time, what train could he be catching and explain how you know? So this is really challenging um, you in terms of make, seeing how much you understand um, how to read the time both digitally and um, on the analog clock. Okay, and it's asking you to then apply that knowledge to essentially a word problem. So good luck with that. We'll go back to our smart board, which is here. Um, if you have completed all of your um, tasks and you still want to do a bit more maths, then here's a challenge for you. So true or false, Dominic says that 12.30 on the analog clock can be a.m. or p.m. PM. So is Dominic right? So in your, um, on your answers, just write down challenge. And then write down Dominic is right because or Dominic is wrong because. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing your work. Um, it is always absolutely amazing um, and I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. So I will see you tomorrow for more maths. Meantime, take care, have a nice evening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye.